Episode number three. <laughs> hey, what's popping, everybody? What's going on, everybody? It's me, Enrique Concor. And it's me, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> you take your time. What is it? I like to take my time. Like I like to take them. You don't like my coffee, bro. This I, is so weird. You know, this dude finishes coffee in one sitting. No, but because the point is, in that moment, you drink your coffee. Not like a, you bring your coffee to white tie. Like a, you bring your coffee to your office, and the whole day okay. you are in, with your cup of coffee. No, that is a bullshit. What you, you, but that's the thing. If you order like you know extra large. How are you gonna? How is it possible to? Why you order an extra large? Because <laughs> so you want to, you know, like have more. No, if, if you want to drink coffee in this moment, go buy one coffee, like a medium that just uh, you need, that were okay. just what you need. Okay. I feel like that's you know, like because it's Taiwanese, you drink a lot of beverages, you know, like boba tea, green green tea, those kind of. Sh- yeah, it's part of the culture because even in in Taiwan, it's the first time that I saw you have a one like a pocket or one like a small things you can you can bring your coffee inside. It's, uh, it's like a, you have a one. A yeah. special thing that you put inside the yeah, coffee. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how is the name. I don't know. It, it's not necessarily. I don't even know what's that called With in Chinese. Call. Okay, everybody, if you are Taiwanese, <laughs> you can comment. What is the name? Yeah, what is it called? You know, Dai. I don't know. <laughs> Ask yourself that question. If you don't know, then rethink whether you're Taiwanese or not. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. This is the episode number three, and this is Bros Boy. How are you doing? You good, have- good, good. But honestly, you know, like it kind of, it's it's a very interesting um, thing that I feel like nowadays pe- when people ask you, how are you? What's up, bro? How's it going? They're not really looking for like a genuine answer. You know, like people are just like, ah, good, because good, Because never good, you good. are going it's to- It's more t- like, it's more like a greeting. Never you are going to tell like how real, how are yeah, you? Yeah, it's not like, oh, I'm actually having a shitty day. I, I've had better days, you know, something like that. It's like, nobody, people will be like- But this is problem of the society. Yeah, It's it no is, problem it of the communication because the yeah. communication of the world is simple. The mm-hmm. how are you? I'm yeah. good, I'm not good, I'm bad, mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. terrible. So I think we need to start one trending, you know, one trending. So we need to change the real society in the real life. Mm-hmm. So if somebody asks you, how are you? You you say yeah, like a piece of shit. Yeah, how yeah. are you? Like a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Man. Today my wife my wife is 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 cheating with his boss. No, it's like I'm piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Your wife is cheating with. <laughs> okay, so here's a it's a true story. I remember there was a professor and he looked at me and he was like, "How are you doing?" And I said, "Oh yeah, great." You know, kind of like the facade, like the mask. You know, like you have to put on when you, you know, like face people. And he looked at me again and he say, nah, how are you truly doing? Oh, yo, that hit different. That hit different. And I kind of just- You I, started to cry like a no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> But I was, I was really, you know, not in, uh, in, not in the best shape of my life at, at that oh. point. So I kind of, I didn't cry, but I kind of had a mental meltdown in front of my professor. And he was like, it's all right, bro. It's all right. That's when I realized that, oh, this is really different when people ask you how you're doing as greeting versus uh-huh, when uh-huh. they really ask you, with, when they genuinely want to know how you're actually doing. So how are you actually doing? I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. That No wonder you're wearing you know, sunglasses. We're indoor, man. No, it's my, it's my outfit, bro. The, the oh, sunglasses, okay. The sunglasses is not because it's I'm drunk. It's your fashion statement? Exactly because how much did you have? Uh, drunk? Yeah. I, I'm not really, really drunk. I am, I'm, it's because I'm older. So yesterday I was drunk. <laughs> Bro, you're 25. You're saying you're Bro, older. But People are going to get offended. That's offensive. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 25, I'm getting old. <laughs> but bro, that, my meaning is, is I'm off practice. So uh, yeah. I'm <laughs> off. You're off practice? Yeah, I'm off training. Like okay. I'm, 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 yeah, yeah I'm, off, I'm off. I'm okay. older. You're in off that season. Part. Yeah, off season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was really happy. And that's why I called you like a 1 a.m. <laughs> oh yeah, you were like, you went like drunk calling because I know your ex, but you were like, yo, puppy, how's it going? And I was like, yo, dude, what the fuck is 1 a.m.? But yeah, <laughs> what's up? And you're like, you know what? I'm like, I, I have this big vision, this dream. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get there, bro. And you were kind of like this, you're like, yeah. I was like, 
this dude is either high as fuck or drunk as fuck. <laughs> no, <laughs> Welcome back to the stories. How was your first time you be drunk? When I get drunk, I get extremely polite. Polite? Yeah, polite. That was like the very first time and the last time I got drunk. Yeah, because I also threw up. Yeah, but not not on myself, like in the toilet. Man, and, they, and but you don't have you don't have a control with that. You just say, Whoa. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, you know, like I threw up at that bar. And I was, you know, like people were like, oh, it's okay, we're gonna clean it up. It's a no more reason to worry. And when I was like, you know, like the famous, the golden Taiwanese, right? I was like, boys, boys. Yeah. Boys, <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Boys, boys. Oh, I will meet you again. Uh, boys, boys. But I'm, I'm gonna clean it up tomorrow. I'm very sorry. Boys, boys. <laughs> Bro, I have a one friend more polite than you. Oh, really? He throw in the, in my bathroom. We make a one party, and yeah. he throw in my bathroom. He closed the, the door of the bathroom. <laughs> He closed the door of the bathroom and we was, bro, are you okay? Are you okay? Because yeah. he closed the door mm -hmm. and I said, I'm okay, I'm okay. And we just listen, I'm a. <laughs> yeah, just went, I'm okay. I'm a. <laughs> we waited like a, for 40 minutes, uh -huh. one hour. We waiting. He opened the door and the bathroom was fucking cleaning. Whoa. What happened? He cleaned after. He cleaned the, he cleaned he the cleaned fucking after bathroom. Himself. Okay, that's the guy I want to drink with. No. <laughs> But I think here's the thing, you know, like feeling a bit tipsy is like, oh, I'm getting there and feeling completely wasted is a, is another thing. So you personally you prefer when you drink, you would just go like, let me just get drunk. Or you prefer to get to the point that I a little bit tipsy, like you feel like all of your sensory are heightened, but that's all. I'm going with a way, bro. I'm going with a way. I'm going with a way. I'm going with a way. I'm going to, if I start with this and then the process I can be drunk, yeah, I'm going with a way. Mm. The life is only one, bro. <laughs> the life is only one. And of course, I don't know, like as a Taiwanese people, the Taiwanese people love to sit down and drink, but yeah. a Peruvian guy loves to stand up and dancing. Ah, so it's like okay. you're doing yeah, exercise. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, it's yes. a little more difficult to get mm. drunk. Right, right, right. So did you cheat in a gear when you was drunk? What do you mean? You, you, I don't know. You, you was, you was drunk and you cheated in uh, one gear. Uh, no, but I witnessed the whole thing happening in f right in front of me. I was like, first roll. Yeah, I was the audience. He had a girlfriend and then we were like a bunch of friends, right? And the people were getting drunk. That was the, like, the only time that I got drunk. And I was also like, so like, I was like, they're doing this. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> you look and, like a fucking psycho, bro. Yeah, yeah. Dude. And one of my friends, like, um, it's a she. And then, you know, like, she got so wasted and she was like, I'm Snow White. I'm Snow White. You want to be my dwarf or something like that? And I'm like, Yo, what the fuck? And then like, he just looked at you and said, Do you have a big equipment? I'm like, What? <laughs> <laughs> like, she would even like literally ask everyone, and was like, Do you have a big equipment? Because I'm Snow White and I really need you to, you know, use your pipe to fix me. And so I think I was like, What? <laughs> and you know, like, Mind you, when she is, when she's, you know, like, clear, when she is herself, this is she a never talks like that. She found that? I don't know. Like I've never, I've never really seen that. So you guy's never, you never, when, when you was drunk and you was cheating. I was really a, drunk. Oh. You weren't cheating when I was gear, or you was like a, you, you know. No, I was just like extremely polite. I was just like, no, boys, boys, excuse me, excuse me. That's like kind of who I am. I tend to be more crazy than when I was drunk. I saw a really like a beautiful, uh, like a good girl in the disco, and I good told, girl define good girl. You mean like big just, boobs? Ah, looks ah, <laughs> but it was when you were single, right? Yeah, when I was single. Ah, okay, when I was single, okay. of course, yeah, I'm a well, fucking then, monster. But yeah, when no I'm, judgment, no judgment. Yeah, yeah. don't judge me, please. When you are single, you have the yeah, all. Yeah, you have the exactly. all authority to do whatever you want for your You're life. You're a freelancer. You're a freelancer. <laughs> <laughs> but when you are married or you are going to get married, or you I have am. a one relationship. You have to be committed. Respect the relationship. Yes. This is the best important yeah. part. Respect your relationship. Yes, exactly. But we we'll return with that part. Yeah. So I was in the disco. Yeah. And I have a friend. You oh, listen. I, I, I really like where this is going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> listen, this gear was dancing with another gear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Basically, the technique how you can dance with these gears is like a, you go with your friends and with your friend you go next to this gear and ask, oh, sorry, can can I dance with you? And your your friend can dance with my friend. Mm -hmm. This is a normal. Yes. And I saw two guys, yeah. a little, well, really handsome. Yeah. They go to the, this gear and the gear say no, and dance with my and dance with my friend. Yeah. So I was thinking, fuck, how can I? be more intelligent to this girl yeah how to can this I, guy to this know, guy just like get her yeah attention how, and get so her to say yes in that day i went to the disco with my friends uh -huh. and one of my friends was gay okay and i told to my friends gay you hey. exploit all your gay friends right <laughs> i told bro suppose you and i we are gay okay we are going to dance next to this girl and um, because we are going to like okay a, we are going to 
supposed to be four friends gear. Yes. Gear, yeah, four friends gear. Mm -hmm. So when is you, when they feel confident up with you, they are going to dance <laughs> with you, right? True. You're right. True. So we was next to this girl dancing. Yeah. And we was dancing really crazy, really good with a really good view. So the gear, obviously, they noticed us. Mm -hmm. And the gear just turned and started dancing with me. Oh, okay. After that, she told me, how long you are gay? And I was, for four years. I, I'm gay. She <laughs> <laughs> started oh to tell me like a, her friend, like, a, hey, oh, okay, hey, okay. So, oh, I have a problems with my boyfriend. And I was like, a, Hey, I give you a woman, a woman recommendation, a woman advice. Like, I go like in that moment, I was freaking gay. I was freaking. If I can give you a woman recommendation, I feel like no. You need to cook with with your boyfriend. You need to cook with your boyfriend. Uh -huh. And she tell me, oh, you are so sweet, you are so sweet, you are so. Good. And she was like her brain, but I was like, oh yeah, I have the best. I had the most. She was getting intimate with you, getting yeah. physical with you because she thought that well, you're gay, you're like my sister. And okay. you know, you know, sometimes the gears kiss another gears, and it's not something happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The gears kiss gay. Mm -hmm. And it's the most natural things. Yes. So in that moment, she kissed me. Because she thought you were gay. Yeah, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I was win. B, 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 win. After that, she gave me her number. Mm -hmm. And the next day, she texts me. Yes. And I text her, sorry, I'm not gay. <laughs> sorry. I'm... But bro, the What bro was her reaction, though? When you tell her, uh, we we lost the contact. <laughs> so she just like you fake gay. But the problem was not this. The big problem of that night was uh. with my friend gay, because my friend gay was really strong and we live really close, mm -hmm. and we was walking to our house. Yes. And in the process, he told me, "You don't want to see that with me," and I was, "Yes, you want to see it? Yeah, we can talk. Yeah, you want to see it? See it?" And he told me. And he started to be a little more close. <laughs> he started to tell me, hey, you, but you are gay. And I said, no, I'm not gay, bro. I told you, it's for the gear. And he said, but how you don't know? And I was like... <laughs> don't you want to explore with yeah, me? Yeah, <laughs> he told me that. He told me that. Aren't you curious? Yeah, he told me, how you don't know you like if you didn't yeah. try? Yeah, exactly. And I was fuck. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I think of one, but I wasn't drunk. My friend, supposedly, I, allegedly, he was drunk. He told me, no, no, nah, nah, he's not my friend anymore. He was kind of like homophobic, you know? Homophobic? Yeah, he you was- You or he? He, he, he. Yeah, he was homophobic at the time. He was like, ah, oh, a girl should be with a guy, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. and, you know, like you have to have kids and that's like not natural or something that's bad. If, like, I mean, like that's his own opinion, but just like, don't put it on me. But the thing is like, I didn't stop being friends with him simply because he has the you only know, like, different opinion. So he got drunk one day and then he started to get a bit, you know, like handsy. And I was like, yo, what the fuck, dude? And then he was like, I'm so drunk. And I was like, oh, he's gay, gay. Yeah, he yeah. was gay. And it turned out that he was gay. Oh. <laughs> and he was asking me that, uh, if you want to like, give it a try? I was like, uh, I am so in shock right now. Like first you were so anti-gay and now you're secretly actually gay. But I am not gay, and but you want to have something with me right now? I was like, what? What? Wow, what, what? cool. But now, now that I say it, it's kind of funny. But at the time, I felt like I was a little bit sexually harassed, or maybe even almost assaulted because he was, you know, like bigger in size. Yeah, he was bigger than me. And at the time, I was like, I was like cleaning his like vomit and everything, and then he started to, you know, like take off his pants and like underwear. Like, yo, dude, what the fuck? And then he started to do something a bit i don't know he somehow a little bit molested me and i was like no you're like you're too drunk let's not talk about that no get the fuck out of here and Bro. he left he left I, w I think it was like 3 a.m or something and then the next morning he texted me and he's like i am so truly very sorry i think i was kind of like out of my mind yeah I was not myself, and I was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, said you were real <laughs> self. You yeah. was your real I was, like, I was like, yeah, whatever. And then he started to, you know, like, talked about, you know, my family is, like, very anti-gay, very conservative, very traditional, and I think that's why, and I am, like, I am empty, I feel hopeless, and I started to feel like, oh, that's a bit bad, and I feel, I feel sorry for you. And then, so, I decided to forgive him, but then he did it again. He tried to do it again, and I was like, nah, fuck it. This is it. Our friendship, it, it's done. He was also an international student, right? So the, the, the student visa, the status was really important for him. In, in Taiwan? Very, in no, 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 in, in the States. In the States. So I was thinking, so my friend kind of told me that you should report him. Yeah. And you should get him deported. You sure that? But at the time, it was like her very, uh, his very last year in 
that university. But you, you so can... my professor told me that you can report him. We will do all the legal process if you decided to do that. But I would also have to tell you he is also a student, and if you do this, he will never ever you know like it pretty much like all the four years, all the money, and you know all the credits he's earned is gonna all completely go to waste. And I just feel like, man, I hate this person for what he did, but. All the money and you know, like the, the the you know, like all the money his parent put in and all the work that he's done for his academic journey. Fuck up, the academic. <laughs> fuck up, bro. What do you think? This is not a fucking option. This is so not. So I fucking- decided to file a report, but not officially to the police or to the immigration. Nah, this- the school did implement something like he has to be really far away from me. Like I will never ever see him in the campus. And they did that, so I felt like it's pretty much the same. Like he can continue his whatever study, and as long as I don't see this person in my life anymore, I'm fine. Okay, I think this is a really good, uh, really good, good, really good conclusion of, of this podcast. Mm-hmm. This I think this is an amazing story. Thank for share for us. Ah. And I think <laughs> the really important thing is you. If you have a one thing about the sexual things, about the sexual issue, or yes. something problem with the sexual things. Even if he's drunk or not, that's no meaning. It's not an excuse. It's not necessarily one yeah, excuse yeah, that, exactly. no, I was drunk. No, this is a fuck up. This is not an excuse. Yeah. Don't use drunkness as an excuse. Yeah, that, as an excuse. You know, try so to- if you are past or you are living something like this, just report that. Don't fucking care about if he has a career, if he has a family. I should have reported him, right? Yeah. I should have reported it's- him. Fuck up! It's your integrity, and um, because what happened? If you don't do really strong now, maybe after five years or six years, you will be keep this feeling. Mm. Just fuck out, say that, and please report to the police or the authorities that is yeah. looking this, this, this yeah. is in in your country or the correct authorities. But say that. Yeah. Don't keep the secret. Don't keep anything in secret and also if you've been like the victim of certain type of you know sexual harassment or sexual assaults you are a survivor there's no shame in sharing that there's no shame in trying to share your story or if you decided to keep that private you it's valid you're entitled to do whatever you want and it's just you know like remember you're strong and you're gonna get through it and yeah don't like me if you've you know <laughs> see a problem report it yeah so that's the end of this podcast thank you tyler thank you everybody thank you, uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to call to the police if you need to call to the police <laughs> don't forget to comment your story comment wherever you want don't forget to yes. follow us in our social media and maybe tell us something because maybe sometimes we don't have this support no we don't have these friends we don't have uh-huh. this person who need yeah. to talk so if you have one story or you really need to help you can contact us so everybody thanks for watching this live stream thanks for listening this live stream that's all for today and you want to say something subscribe you- like leave a comment down below and we love you guys activate the, the bills because you need to be the first person who will look in this video right yep 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 and that's all for today this is bros, bros Ball. Ball. Bye-bye. bye bye have a good day <laughs>